Hello everyone, and welcome in this new video. In today's video, we'll walk you through how to use our VirtuCam application without the need to root your phone. And to achieve this, we need to install a specialized tool that allows us to create a virtual framework for Android. This framework enables advanced features such as multi-account support, exposed module integration, and dynamic app debugging, all without requiring root access. And to fully understand the application and how it works, it is essential to watch these three videos. Ensure you follow all the steps necessary to set up VirtuCam. So this video serves as complementary guides to the previous ones, offering a detailed walkthrough for running the app without needing a rooted phone. As a final tip, all the guidance I provide using BlueStacks also works on any Android device with proper setup. For the best performance, it's recommended to use Android 9 or higher. So let's get started. First, let's open a new session in BlueStacks to ensure the environment is not rooted. You can create this fresh instance using BlueStacks Multi-Instance Manager in case you are using BlueStacks. To ensure that your emulator is not rooted, download the Root Checker app for verification. As you can see here, our emulator does not have root access. Now, let's install the application that will allow us to run our app without requiring root access or downloading any additional file. Search for the following URL and download this application. Now let's install our VirtuCam application from VirtuCam channel. Now that all the necessary tools are installed, open the MetaWolf tool to proceed with the next steps. Open the application and add the app whose camera you want to spoof. In this case, I will spoof the camera of the Cam app itself. Also, add the VirtuCam app to the MetaWolf framework for proper configuration. Now, let's activate our application. Use the following VirtuCam channel link and the support office account to obtain your key and ensure you receive it securely, avoiding any potential scams. First, we will attempt to spoof the camera by using a video from our gallery. Make sure to activate these three buttons and restart the emulator to save the MetaWolf configuration. I forgot to do that earlier when adding the two apps, but it's fine. After rebooting the emulator or your phone, if using a real device, open MetaWolf and repeat the steps we performed earlier. This ensures the configuration is properly applied. As demonstrated, we have successfully spoofed the camera without requiring root access or the installation of additional files, unlike methods that rely on rooting. So after the video from the gallery has been successfully uploaded, let's proceed by testing with OBS and pushing the RTMP stream as well. Starting by opening SRS tool to help us with the RTMP flow, and about installing this tolls and other, all will be found in my Telegram channel. Then, open OBS Studio and configure your RTMP stream with your local IP address. Now follow the steps that we have covered in our first video. And 
make sure to activate live streaming switch button in the RTMP flow process. Open your camera and boom, the live broadcast is received and you can control it from OBS screen. With this, you have successfully used our app without the need for routing. Be sure to visit our Telegram channel for complete links, tools, Virtucam application, and all tutorials. For purchasing a key, please reach out to us directly by our contact support found in our channel. For the pricing plans, it is as the following. Thank you for watching.